Hello students. So in this video, we are going to discuss uh, on how are we going to find the domain and range of a radical functions. So by definition, a function or I mean a radical functions is a function that is defined by a radical expressions. So how are we going to find the domain and range given a radical function? So let's have an example. So given a radical function is in linear function. So y is equal to the square root of a linear function. So given y is equal to the square root of a linear function, for us to, 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 to find the domain and range, this would be the, the rules. Okay. So if y is equal to square root of ax plus b, okay, the domain would be x is greater than or equal to negative b over a, okay? So meaning, given y is equal to the square root of ax plus b, our domain would be x is greater than or equal to negative b over a. And our range would be y greater than or equal to zero. So what if it's a negative? Y is equal to negative square root of AX plus B. Therefore, the value of our domain would be X is greater than or equal to negative B over A. It's just the same, so positive. But the range would become y is less than or equal to, to zero, okay? So given y is equal to the square root of a linear function, for us to find the domain and range of that function, if it's y is equal, I mean, if it's in the format of y is equal to the square root of ax plus b, the domain would be x is greater than or less than negative p over a. And then the range would be y is greater than or equal to zero. Where if it, it's in the format of y is equal to negative square root of ax plus b, the domain would be x is greater than or equal to negative b, but the range would be y is less than or equal to zero. So let's have a first example. Example number one. For our example number one, given we have y is equal to the square root of 3x plus 5, okay? So let, let's find out the value of a and b. Our a is equal to 3 and our b is equal to 5, okay? So therefore, the value of our domain would be, we just follow the formula, x is greater than or equal to negative b, what would be our b? I mean, what's the value of our b? The value of our b is five, so it's five over the value of our a is three. So therefore, our domain is x is greater than or equal to negative five over three. And for our range, for our range, it says that if it's positive, therefore, y is greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so we follow the first formula. Let's try another one. What if it's a negative y? is equal to negative square root of 3x 
plus five. Okay, so the value of A is equal to three. The value of letter B is equal to five. Therefore, the domain for this function would be x is greater than or equal to negative. The value of our letter B is 5 over the value of letter A is 3. So therefore, the domain would be x is greater than or equal to negative 5 over 3. And the range for this one, we follow the formula. If negative, okay, I'll change the color. If it's negative, this would be our range. Y is less than or equal to zero. Okay. So therefore, the value of our range is Y is less than or equal to zero.